Hello, thanks for joining in in this PyPico tutorial where we're going to learn how to detect the temperature using the internal sensor on the PyPico here. You'll also learn how to send or maybe read analog value and convert it into digital ones. So it is said that the Raspberry Pi Pico has an internal temperature and it is connected to an analog sensor, which is why we need to convert that into digital ones and try to detect the temperature. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So before we jump into that, we need to know something that is called ADC. ADC, which stands for Analog to Digital Convert. As the name suggests, it takes the analog signal from any pin right there and changes into digital ones. So let's jump into it. The first thing we need is to open up our Tony browser if we're programming the Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython. So, now the next thing is to import the library which includes these the functions related to hardwares so i'm going to do that by saying import then i'm going to call machine i'm also going to need a library that is going to help us manage time you know now displaying things so quickly and everything so that one is i'm going to say import and, and call the one that is called utime the next thing we're going to do here is to declare the, the internal temperature sensor in our program. So I'm going to do that by calling it temp sensor. That's a variable. And then I'm going to go into the machine ADC, which stands for analog digital converter. And the pin where that very internal sensor is located is on four. Then I'm going to go down here. We're going to do now something that is called the conversion of factor factor the conversion factor means we're going to take the highest in analog in the highest in analog input that an analog pin on the raspberry pi can send which is 3.3 volt sorry but i'm going to say first i'm going to declare conf which is the conversion factor and make it the highest or maybe the yes the highest a voltage input voltage that a pin from the raspberry pi pico can generate which is 3.3 volt and divide it and divide it by the highest amount of voltage that any analog can send which is let's say six five five three five yeah just like that so now this is the analog conversion it's going to help us read the, the the input pin from the internal te sense temperature sensor and then convert it into digital ones so now we're gonna declare we're gonna make a, an endless loop which is while true just like there and then go down here a little and read now the internal temperature sensor i'm gonna say temp i'm gonna call it temp read and then that is going to be equal to the temperature sensor we declared above temp sensor dot read if this was a nano a digital value we would do just like that but because it's an analog we need to specify that it's not going to be digital values it's going to be unsigned unsigned numbers yeah so that's why we, we you having 16 bit that's why now we have to add this little thing and assign 16 just like that and then times our conversion factor which is count all right so now the next thing is to calculate now the temperature we're going to declare something called the temp a variable called temperature temperature just like that and it's going to be a formula of the rp 2040 which is 27 we're gonna minus now we're gonna call our temperature readings which is temp read just like that which is temp read just like that and minus this value this is a, an rp micro the, the rp 2040 based formula so seven 
zero six. I think you gotta memorize this over zero dot one two zero seventeen and twenty one, just like that. Now the next thing we need to do here is to print now temperature. All right, so I'm gonna print it as temperature. Yeah, and to not display things so quickly, I'm gonna add the U time and then sleep and wait maybe two seconds. So, and you're gonna notice that this temperature is going to be looking like temperature in degree Celsius, all right? So now let's go ahead and save it onto our Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm gonna go ahead and say save. All right, so I'm gonna go first, go down here and choose my, my, my Raspberry Pi, which is this one. And go ahead and go and say save us. So I'm gonna be prompted to save it maybe on the PC on, on the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna save it on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Then I'm gonna call it temperature.py, all right? Then go ahead and save. Now it's done. The next thing to do is to run it. I'm gonna go here on display green button and click it. You can see now that it is saying that the temperature is 25 and something. And you can see that we have overflowing long numbers. If we wanted to round, we would come maybe right here and add the rounding function. Let me say round. Let's maybe round it to like two digits behind the dot, all right? So if I do like that, I'm gonna have to stop and then rerun it again. Boom, you can see now we have the temperature from the Raspberry Pi and yet we don't have any external sensor. So that's how you integrate to read the temperature from the Raspberry Pi Pico. And you can see that we learned something that is important, the formula for conversion factor. We learned how to read analog values, yeah. So this is it and if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe if you like more on Embedded System and IoT. And until then, peace.